what is going on here? Let's talk to Mr. Norton, shall we? Morton. Hello again, Mr. Neff. I guess you're wondering where you are. Yes, what is this place? You're standing in dreamscape, Mr. Neff. The living, breathing amalgamation of billions of sleeping minds. I think I said that wrong, did I? Each adding their own distinct piece of the puzzle, to the puzzle. All connected, all belonging to the same world. Are you saying I'm inside of a dream? Yes, you're in my dream, as a matter of fact. It doesn't always look like this, though. It changes slightly each night, but this is where I come when I dream. What is the purpose of the large machine in the basement? The purpose of the machine is to synchronize the brain waves of two connected minds, thus making it possible to project an awake mind into a sleeping one, as you are doing right now. Did you build it? Only parts of it. My family has been trying to chart the dreamscape for the past four generations. My great-grandfather first posited the idea that we all visit a collective unconscious in our sleep. We wanted to explore it to see if it had a coherent geography. Does it? Yes, but it is ever-changing, ever-evolving. As people die, we lose parts of it. As new people are born, new areas appear. It's roughly disc-shaped. As you are born, you appear in the center, moving outwards as you live, eventually reaching the thin, crumbling edge as your life comes to an end. Um, who were you talking to before? I was talking to the machine. It has organic parts and has, after decades of refinement, reached some degree of consciousness. I've learned to communicate with it crudely after all these years. A talking machine? It's not talking per se, it's more like a whisper in the back of your mind. What attacked you in the basement? It was the machine that attacked me. Recently we've had some differences of opinion about how we should proceed with our research. A situation that culminated once you discovered my camera, Mr. Neff. What was the argument about? Lately our operation has been getting harder and harder to keep under wraps. I wanted to put it on hold while I sorted things out, but the machine wouldn't have any of it. Stopping the operation would mean temporarily shutting down the machine, but rather than let me do that, it attacked me. Consciousness and self-preservation go hand in hand, unfortunately. How does a machine like that work? To be honest, I don't fully understand it myself. My great-grandfather built the first prototype. It was very crude barely providing a keyhole's peek into the sleeping mind. My grandfather pr perfected the design by synchronizing the brain waves of the two connected minds. My father and I both added parts here and there, mainly improving p performance. So your family's been built in this thing for four generations? I was raised from an early age to continue my family's work. My father con instructed me how to operate the machine. Occasionally he brought me along with him into the dreamscape. Can you imagine what that was like for a child? Having people's dreams to play in? I wish I could explain all this at greater length, but I'm badly hurt. I'm afraid I'm dying. But dreams can't hurt you, can they? Dreams can alter your perception of reality. They can change lives for better or worse. And they certainly can kill. People die in their sleep all the time. I thought dreams were all about just uh, about wish fulfillment, not a natural place. You're not alone in thinking that. Fruit, fraud, for instance, was the originator of the particular idea. But, as you can see around you, you're both quite wrong. What was that tentacle thing that grabbed you right now? The tentacles are the roots of the machine, an extension of it, if you will. The machine resides, resides in both worlds. The actual machine resides in our world, but it, its roots grow here in dreams. The dreamscape is its power source, basically. I'm growing weaker, but before I go, there's something I have to ask you. If I could do it myself, I would, but I don't have long. I needed you to shut the machine down once and for all. How do I do that? By cutting off its power supply. The tentacle you saw attacking me is one of its roots. 
that's how it draws power from the dreamscape. But I've already chopped it off. The tentacles have spread to the dreams of the others in the estate. You must enter their dreams like you entered mine and make sure it can't draw power there anymore. Why can't I just smash the machine itself? The machine is more than just the clunky thing in the basement. It'd be like cutting off a tick without removing the head. Once all dreams are purged, the machine will shut down properly. What happens if I don't do it? I've been able to maintain it for, uh, so far by only letting it tap into one or two dreamers at a time. But once I'm gone, I feel it'll only be a matter of time before it renders everyone into the state unconscious in order to keep a constant supply of power. So everyone will fall asleep? Not only that, being a machine with only some organic parts, it doesn't understand how our bodies work. Concepts like dehydration or muscle atrophy, I, uh, what the deuce, are foreign to, to it. So if I fail, everybody in the state will eventually die? Yes. What about me? Will I fall asleep as well? I never had time to visit your dream last night. If I understand things correctly, the machine hasn't established a foothold in your dreams yet. Will you grant me this, my dying wish? No, <laughs> what's in it for me? <laughs> By now, your wife will most likely also be infected since I visited her dreams last night. Then I'll purge her dream and get the hell out of her. her. I'm afraid that would only postpone her decrepitude. The machine, if left and stopped, will eventually re-establish in your wife's dreams. I'll take my chances. I hope you'll reconsider. I'm the last in the line of Mortons. With me, my family perishes. What are you going to tell the world about us once we're gone? I haven't decided yet. You're right to question my family's motives. I've had doubts myself ever since my adolescent years, but what we did was the benefit of mankind. There's always a price to pay for important discoveries. Price you made others pay by abusing their trust for decades. It was necessary and didn't cause too much harm. I hope you can see it from my perspective someday. I wouldn't count on it. Then there's nothing more to be said between us. This is where I leave you. Goodbye, Mr. Norton. Morton. Goodbye, Mr. Neff. Ah, oh, dude. There he goes. Requiescat in pace. Are we coming back now to the uh, the apartment? My computer's died. No. <laughs> All right. Shit. Well, you seem like a, a nice man. In a way, he wasn't. Mr. Morton is dead. He try he died trying to shut down the machine. Yeah, we know that, right? We can take these silly hats off now. <laughs> we need to go back now. We need to go and save. Hold on. How No 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 no. We need to uh We need to call the elevator, of course. It seems to require a key. Oh of course it does. Can we not go back? It's, cl it's close shut. I can't see any locks or handles. And we can't obviously use the uh, the palm print reader. Because we're not registered. Yep, that didn't work. Oh! We have the ink pad. We can use it on his, uh, his hand, can't we? Uh-huh. I've smeared ink on his palm. Can we use the paper on his hand? I've gotten the part. Nice. Easy. 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 How, how would that even read it, though? Is it nice. Alright. Open sesame. We're in his, uh, his office here. We can examine the TV screens. <laughs> this camera covers the lobby, probably so he could monitor how people came and went. The mover is still on his lunch break, apparently. Mm-hmm. Lazy son of a gun. Oh, look at these three. This camera overlooks somebody's dining room. If I'm not mistaken, this is our next-door neighbor's bridge party. 
Ah, yeah, of course, of course. Right, okay. Deploy gas, what the... Can't see any action going on. Use that peeping Tom as well. There's a gas device. Oh, damn. Seems to be a gas canister of some sort. This seems to be an indicator of some kind. If I'm reading it correctly, the gas canister seems to be empty. Oh, that's just good then, isn't it? Oh, what's in the waste paper basket? Seems contains the remains of burned papers mostly. Can we pick up any of them? Looks like Mr. Morton was trying to destroy evidence before he died. Most of it is completely destroyed, but this little piece seems readable. What's it say? Oh, here's that. Here's those images again. Oh, there's a safe. Can, is the safe open? Aha, there's the key. We got the key. <laughs> Just a random code. Wouldn't that be cool if I got it right? That wasn't the right code, obviously. Oh, we got a map here. No. Oh, it is a map. What's this? It says the center of dreams. This map piece is totally blank except for a big question mark. I guess this area hasn't been charted yet. Alright, okay. Can we... What are these? Ah, uh, yes, we know what those black things are in the corner. It's these. Alright. So, how can we... Uh, no, go back to the monitors. How can we turn these around? Deploy gas, telephone. Can we... Oh, we can't even phone our um, our wife. Oh, remote control. All oh, right, is that Alicia in the hallway? It is. I can see the phone in the boxes there on the floor. She said, "Phone in the police." That means he's got more cameras rigged in our apartment. This is just beyond creepy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, no, 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 no! Shit! What happened to her? Shoot! That's not good. Uh, what were the other two? Right, that corner and that corner. Uh, no, no, no. Come on, come on. We need to hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. Go, 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 go. We need to go save her. Come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. That was it, back there. I'm going too fast. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. So what's the code? Is that nine... Is that six? I can't even... Nine, six, nine... Three... One, one. And I'm... Taking it. That's for the, uh... The safe. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up, hurry up. We can do this. We can do this. Nine. One. Nine. Three. One, one. That wasn't the right code. Oh, come on. I'm sure it was. Nine, six, nine. Three, one, one. Yeah, it was. That's what I just put in. Alright, well, we've got the key. Come on, let's go, 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 go. Let's get out of here. Let's get that key. Put the key in the elevator. No! Come on. There we go. Come on. Come on. Stick it in. Let's go. Let's go, Eskimo. Let's get in the lift. Second floor. Alright. East it. Booyah. There she is. She seems to have fallen asleep, just like Mr. Morton. Right, we need to put the sender device on her head. On her cranium. And then this one on mine. Let's go, Eskimo. I'm sorry about this, Alicia. 
I feel weird about peeping around inside your dream, but I don't see any other way to help you right now. This is gonna be interesting. I'll see you on the other side, honey. Here we go.